Hi, welcome back everyone. Uh, this is Dion again from ICT4Educators.com. Um, in the previous lesson, we were looking at web albums and using it to upload your photos and videos to your Picasso account. Now, one of the things I said you could do from that is to create QR codes. So if you actually look at the upload button, sorry, the up arrow button, you do have three options as I said before one is to email an album link to copy it or to open it in Safari so we're gonna look at copying an album link here and using that as a way to get a QR code so I'm going to copy a link to the album that I've created Then I'm going to close this and we're going to go to open up an app which is called Crafter. So it's a Q R A F T E R. There's there's actually a couple of apps here. There's Crafter and Crafter Pro. Um, both of them to get the full version will cost you $2.99. There are a few different apps out there which allow you to create or scan uh, QR codes. This is the one that I've chosen. It, it seems to work quite well. So as you can see down at the bottom here you have the ability to both scan and to create QR codes. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating a QR code and then you have a choice you can do a URL um, and another one that's probably quite useful for students maybe things like uh, the ability to add uh, a text for example okay so looking at the URL option here so we're gonna open that up and when you do you can see there's actually the HTTP is already inside I'm gonna delete that because I've already copied all of the link to the Picasso album so I'm just gonna push down with my finger and hold okay and then you let go and you will get the option to paste so we just paste the link that we've created there okay and once we're done you just click on the create button okay so as you can see here our QR code has been created for us you can do things like edit the color but we're, we're not gonna worry about that okay so now once your QR code has been created uh, you can push on the up arrow and you have a few choices such as save to your camera roll uh, email it um, and, and, and a few others so what I would do with students here generally is we would email the QR code to the teacher who could then print it unless of course you have your iPad set up where students could print directly themselves uh, what I'm going to choose to do here is just to save it to my camera roll so you can just get an idea of what the QR code looks like so when we go back now to the camera roll and open it up okay so you can see that we have our QR code here so th with this QR code uh, you can then have it printed and uh, a project that our students are actually working on in grade 3 is uh, we're having students create all of their process work uh, throughout the unit and they will create QR codes which link to their Picasso web albums and then they will have an art exhibition for parents and parents will be able to come in and using the crafter app um, that we've already taken a look at here uh, as you can see at the bottom there's an option to scan so if parents come and they use the scan option okay then they can just simply point the uh, camera at the QR codes that students have created and then take uh, themselves to the links where all the content is located so that may be a great idea for a project that you'd want to consider as well so again the app that we use today is called crafter and it allows you to either scan QR codes or to generate your own thank you